sure everybody knows what they're doing. I think this might be one that we can get one on. Good luck. Shoot straight. Shoot straight, drive them fast. <laughs> Make them run quick, boys. Quick! There's a buck, there's a buck. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that buck. Big buck, my goodness, dude, he's huge. Oh yeah, I see him. <laughs> Gun season, baby, let him eat. <laughs> We just shot a huge buck. <laughs> Get on, buddy, we got him! There's probably a good buck on this ridge. That's that's what we all pretty firmly believe, so. What'd you do? What'd you do? Freaking duck on! <laughs> This is right there. <laughs> <laughs> we got two down, boys. <laughs> Since we started THP, deer drives have been an important part of our strategy throughout the season. Deer drives are always exciting. We learn a ton doing them, but most importantly, it's a lot of fun to get out with your buddies and hunt as a group. In this video, we're going to show you our very best deer drives. Here he is, guys. Sling and Rick is back with the band. Coffee, breakfast pizza. I've already been working on this one. You didn't even make it out of the store. Nope. All right, folks, here's the deal. Rick's got this nasty looking gun. He's gonna look in a sling at something. That's how he got the name Sling and Rick. <laughs> what Eric and Aaron, the standers, are gonna do is they're gonna walk down the fence row, get right on the corner of the public, into a spot where they can see and it kind of funnels the deer down a creek bottom. And then Logan and I are gonna go up and we've got a wind blowing from the east. And we're just gonna let our scent kind of drift down that creek channel going towards these guys. We're gonna still hunt our way through, see if there's deer in there. And Eric and Aaron will be posted up if deer start to escape. But Logan and I are just gonna go real, real slow, kind of letting our scent drift down in there. Not gonna be trying to blow them out of there, just trying to still hunt into deer. And if we spook them, they'll hopefully run to these guys. So, oh, oh, hey, stop, stop, stop! They're coming right at us. Behind him, there's a buck. There's a shooter right there. I'm not kidding you. Right up there, about 100 yards. Get on him. Do you see him? No. That's right. There's a little ditch up there that they went up into. We're just gonna try to sneak up there. And if we bump them, we bump them. They're gonna go towards Eric and Aaron. And if not, we got a shot at them. Yeah. The pushmen are pushing. <laughs> and they're moving. <laughs> we got the volleys working and they're gonna come right down the fence. And... <laughs> Gun season, baby. Let them eat. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
Buck, 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 buck. Basically, recall you're gonna have to stop him. Two or three year old. Wait, is there more behind you? No. Mom! Should I shoot him? He's done. Did you get him? Yeah, I got him, dude. <laughs> I smoked him. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> no Wind bumping, baby. <laughs> Did you get him good? Yeah, I smoked him. I jolted at the shot a little bit. I saw him mule kick real hard. He's down right in there. Can you believe that? I cannot believe it, dude. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> It's perfect. <laughs> what the heck happened? So, dude, I heard that guy and I was like, that was muffled like a barrel break. Yeah. And I was like, it was right. I told him, I was like, that was right there. Yeah. Dude, I told you when we left the car, chalk it up, your tag's filled. So, dude, go down. Yeah, I mean, he's, I smoked him. Like, he's toast. He's 80 yards and the mule kicked real hard. Roughly 2 o'clock. And... We decided we wanted to come wind bump this spot that Eric shot that buck at. We're going to do this wind bump a little bit backwards, I guess. Just reverse the whole thing of what we did when Eric shot that buck. We got a westerly wind instead of an easterly wind. But on our way in, we're going to still hunt. Just be glassing this brown grass down here along the creek because we've been seeing a lot of deer bed in there. But we're going to get moving. Got excited and saw her. Ted and I snuck in here and got set up on this willow. And as soon as we started coming down the hill, Ted saw a couple of young bucks kind of milling around down by this bedding area. In the main bed, up on top of this little knoll, there was a whole bunch of sheds last year. And right now, we're seeing a whole bunch of little bucks moving around out here in front of us. That's a good sign. It probably means there's a big buck up on top somewhere. They're just naturally moving down there, but Jake and Logan are about to go through this piece, zigzagging back and forth with their scent blowing towards the deer. Hopefully those deer smell those guys. Just try to slip out the back. There's a doe, there's a doe, but I don't. There's a buck, there's a buck. It's not a gun. May I have him here? Do you have him? Yes. <laughs> Took off running that way. I don't know if I did or not. <laughs> I don't know if I hit him or not. <laughs> cool, dude. We at least got a shot. I really love love this gun. I'd love to tell you that we finally did it. I totally missed that son of a gun. You did? You can, you can tell in the video? Yeah, he doesn't even move. <laughs> well, we're... Certain we miss the deer. I mean, he doesn't even flinch in the video. We watch that back. And you can see fresh tracks right here, too. And yeah. if he was bleeding, you'd see it on the snow. He just stood there for a while. Never seen a deer that's been hit that just stands there. But he was probably 150. And the way the gun's shooting, I should have just held it right on him. But I held it high. I held it more like I was holding it for the 200 yard mm -hmm. shot. So I'm sure I just shot way over his back. Which is better than hitting it. Yeah and wounding it so maybe i didn't hit over his back maybe i'm totally full of it and i just like got <laughs> buck fever and like we're gonna watch and it hits that tree up there or something but it's whatever you miss some bucks sometimes <laughs> tell him that there's a big buck in yeah. that group big freaking buck dude Whereabouts is right he? in the middle okay 
big buck. My goodness, dude, he's huge. Oh yeah, I see him now. There's another big buck running yeah. out. Oh my gosh. Stay to the middle. I see him. Two big bucks. I got trees now. That was freaky. There was three huge bucks in there. Hey, we just jumped a ton of deer and like huge bucks. He, they were like in the middle of the group. I don't think they know what's going on. All right, so we just bumped a ton of deer. We think we got a pretty good idea how we're gonna get to them. Let's run back to the car and meet up with Jake. Just moved over here, obviously bumped a bunch of deer. And luckily we've done this bump in the past. One of the things that we've noticed a couple times now, like pretty significant deer movement through this little patch of timber coming across the road. This is one of the bumps the that road. we somewhat have figured out. It's one of the only ones we've killed deer on. Yeah. And you you missed that one, Eric shot that one. Yeah. And we've had a lot of other chances where if you, weren't, really if you weren't probably filming, you'd have shots. Just get into a position, position where we can see a lot. And I'm pretty worked up about it. I think this might be our chance because we do have confidence in this bump. Got him, Keith. We just shot a huge buck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go make sure I got him. Hey, that's what we did it for. Three years. That's three years of hunting this season, dude. And we finally got it on a good bump. And that's exactly what we just said. I couldn't kid you not. Shot him at like 40 yards. Just a tank. Thank God, buddy, we got him! Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm dude, dude. starting to shake my oh head. Oh my God, dude, that was insane. Hey, we just said, I bet he slips out the back by himself. I would love to see the biggest one slip out the back, and he just did. He we got the big one, buddy! It's a long time coming, buddy. <laughs> right off the road. Right off the road, dude. Any track. other deer? No. Just He's the only one. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm right on his shoulder. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, it was an easy shot. <laughs> I can't I mean, even believe if it. If you do this right, they are easy shots. Cause like, cause you don't bump them real hard. Like I was, what I was doing, I'd just pump my shotgun to make noise to try to get them up way in front of me. And I don't know if that's what he did, but I never saw a sign of them or heard them get up. I can't even believe it, dude. And I'm <laughs> glad you were here to do that, dude. That's sweet. Cause we've been trying this, we've been trying these bumps like this for three years. Three years. <laughs> and we've and we've done it at this spot, and I've missed here. Barbara shot one. And then we just shot one literally inside of the car. If we oh, go yeah. back, we can see our car. Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, that's so Dude, fun. That Good luck, buddy. All right, guys, we're about to do the last drive of the day here. We always kind of like to do a drive with the quote unquote drivers as being people that are just sneaking into the bedding areas. In this really open stuff, it doesn't take much to bump the deer, but sometimes as a driver, if you're going slow enough, with your head up, eyes up, sometimes you can bump into deer just standing around feeding or maybe even just laying in a bed. We have some history with this location. We know there's deer in here. There's probably a good buck on this ridge. That's, that's what we all pretty firmly believe. So what we're gonna do is, is just sneak up to the top, 
being real quiet, trying to get as close to deer as possible and try to lightly bump them or hopefully spot them before they spot us. Got him, boy. Got him. I got a tank, dude. And I got a tank, too, boy. I'm pretty sure he's down. I'm gonna reload this gun. I think he was falling down right away. But I'm gonna reload. A bunch of other deer went into the truck. I just tried to nudge the rest of the bucks back to the group. It was a bachelor group of like, oh, probably like seven bucks. And I'm pretty sure I hit the big one. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure he was going down. I never saw a big one come out. But as you can imagine, I'm freaking out pretty bad. Right when I shot, he jumped and kicked raw. I'm pretty sure I just killed See where he ran down the hill right here. He was crashing. I don't know where he made it to. There he is, boy. He's a freaking big buck. I just want to make sure he's dead. There he is, right down there in the creek. Can see his antler. Oh. Oh. Yes, baby. oh, that's sick. All right, let's finish the drive. <laughs> Dude, he wanna know. <laughs> see a deer here it feels like you're seeing something you shouldn't be and it's always like coming where it's not supposed to be. <laughs> like down there it's like creek and uh -huh. 
Yeah, we're set up on this saddle. They're pushing this, hoping they're gonna come right down the path of least resistance here. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Literally the steepest part of this suddenly comes up that. That's awesome. <laughs> and Zach's up there right now, I'm just going. <laughs> I'm trying to move quick. Let's turn another shot. Yes. Oh, hopefully we got two. That would be crazy. What'd you do? What'd you do? Freaking duck one! <laughs> Dude, oh, you this is really... right there. <laughs> <laughs> we got two down, boys. <laughs> you shot one? I killed one! I walked up on the bachelor group rubbing. I killed the biggest one. <laughs> Hey, did you say you wanted six points? <laughs> I hope I got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Three years. Look, <laughs> 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 it comes Ben. <laughs> filming an interview with Shane when you shot and I, I just said I was like there's hunters in here but there's also a lot of deer and bang Shane, <laughs> Shane goes there's one <laughs> two Tyler got one too <laughs> good night <laughs> go over there before it gets dark yeah. does, does, that, does that make sense oh, we gotta go back you. this way yeah. anyway mm -hmm. pick this one up a little bit oh yeah it looks like a big boy <laughs> and I think if we're set up on these escape routes, that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to drop a little bit and kind of cut back, but we're basically going to have one, two, three, and four. Let's hunt, boy. Let's hunt, boy. Let's hunt, boy. Tyler got what like 40 minutes till the drive starts. They're basically wrapping around, getting up on that ridge there. The bull that they're eventually gonna push on the back side of that. Zach and I are dropping in like this, just gonna follow the valley down to the spot that we're going. All the other guys are farther to the south. But we just we ended up kicking, I think it was three does or two dozen fawns. Either way, they're going to the south into the drive. That was kind of our plan with us taking a longer time to get around. The trick is you just bump so many deer so far ahead of you that it's like you're better off to circle way out around and pinch in all together at about the same time. That's kind of like how we set this up. We're all just trying to time it right. It's hard. I mean, even yesterday, there was a whole bunch of bucks that got out of the drive still. The nice thing going for us has been super predictable where these deer are. West wind today, southeast side, yeah. on a bench. That's where they were yesterday kind of down out of the wind and it's just south facing so it's pretty comfortable a little bit of warmth coming up a lot of times thermal pull on that sunny hillside so that's the target hey, dear.
got him. Second point of impact. <laughs> this is where he. That's good because he was already bleeding before. He has at least right. two, possibly four holes in him. So <laughs> I feel like he should be in enough shape. This looks like a, probably a dead deer, but I think we should just be careful. I think we should definitely get guys on the other side. We'll see you at the buff. Alright, see you at the buff. Maybe do a light howl. Yeah. If you get Keep it kind of quiet there because we're going to go get another. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you, kind fella. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. That always sucks. Deer, that's the worst part about deer hunting is not knowing if they're dead or not. Like uh -huh. turkeys, you know they're dead. So I couldn't even celebrate like after the shot because I saw them, like mm -hmm. I lost sight where he ran off. I never saw him go down. It was cool to see him go down here though. <laughs> <laughs> Fell off the waterfall. I'll <laughs> 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 oh, talk about the coolest photo we're gonna have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really now awesome. Careful, Jacob. Don't you come falling down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you, buddy. Oh, perfect lighting. Yeah, does a good job. Too bad I probably, I think the camera was facing that way. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? No. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Pretty decent. Pass that around, pass that around, pass that around. It's a first time hunting in Ohio and with a muzzleloader. <laughs>